Hello, today I want to share with you some knowledge of mine how to replace a beam splitter inside the Mamiya 6 folder camera. I don't speak English almost at all, and if I do, I do that so rarely. I'm trying to do my best for you to understand what I'm talking about, so don't judge me too much. So this is the K2 version and uh, as you can see I've got it in a pretty good condition. I bought it from eBay from the guy uh, in Japan and everything just works fine. The lens is clear. I've already had a test roll and uh, the main reason for this video is that I've tried to find information about how to repair the beam splitter, how to replace it. So the story is that when I've got it, I decided to clean it up, you know, just with a cotton stick inside and outside because there was some dust and I decided to go one step further. I decided to clear this viewfinder. The reason why I did that, the viewfinder was very dull and dusty. So I decided that I need to take off the lid and, uh, you know, just clean it up a bit and everything will be just at least better, if not great. So the procedure was pretty simple. I'll show you in a couple of minutes and uh, demonstrate you how to take it apart. And just to finish the story, I cleared the viewfinder inside from the front and uh, from the back. And there is a 45 degree semi-transparent mirror that gives you the ability to focus because it's a rangefinder camera and uh, in order to be in focus or something you need to connect to images so that the object that you are trying to focus for is not doubled. And I decided that that mirror was the dirtiest part. And what happened is that I cleared the special coating that was designed to reflect the light from the rangefinder into the viewfinder. So what happened after I cleared this semi-transparent mirror that is called a beam splitter, I could not actually focus anymore because I had no light patch bouncing back in the viewfinder. So that is actually, that was a problem. As you can imagine, after that, I was pretty angry at myself because I had a fully functioning, ready to go camera and I've just almost destroyed it. Well, not actually destroyed, but I could not really use its potential. As you can imagine, immediately I started to look for the way to solve this problem and I wasn't able to find any information about repairing or replacing the beam splitter in this particular camera. So I was searching and uh, I've only found some Japanese gentleman repairing Leica, like something very old, and uh, he just took beam splitter off and put a new one inside. After that I started to search for a beam splitter and I discovered that it is pretty hard to find one. So I found a local repair guy who repairs old cameras here in Ukraine, in Kyiv, and he said that another camera is needed so that we can take the beam splitter from that camera and put in this one. And I said, okay, I'll be waiting because he had no time uh, until September to find something suitable to replace the beam splitter. And I decided that I'll continue my research on this topic in order to maybe some, maybe find some another solution for this problem. I had some ideas for that. I've read on forums and uh, overall that they use a 50% reflective and 50% translucent mirrors. That was the information that I thought would help me a bit to find maybe not a specific part for the specific camera, but a piece of semi-transparent mirror just to cut and put in this camera. My initial thoughts were about teleprompters and because they use a semi-transparent mirror to reflect the text from the monitor, 
I thought that maybe I could find some company that specializes on teleprompters and just ask them to cut a little piece of that semi-transparent mirror so that I can use it in this camera. And my second thought was to go and find this mirror in China. And I found one. It was three by three centimeters and it was written that it is 50% transparent and 50% reflective. I decided to try it out because in any case I've already destroyed the existing one and that's it. That is the whole story. And now I just want to maybe share my knowledge a bit further and I'll actually take it apart and like, well, not that much is needed to be taken off. So yeah, now I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. So basically you'll need a screwdriver and actually you may not even need the tweezers. So first of all, you need to screw off counterclockwise the knob for film winding and you can see here is the knob itself nothing special and then you have your spring and a, I guess like a spacer or something like that and then you have only three screws that you need to screw off one two and three after that the lid comes off easily just gently lift it up and put aside this part it's a button take that off so what we need to do next is unscrew these two screws and here is the mirror itself and the viewfinder chamber here may be the moment when you may need the tweezers because these ones and as far as I noticed these ones here on the top plate too they are made not from steel so they are not magnetizing to the screwdriver now you just take off this lid this is the mirror this is a clamp that holds it and that's pretty much it that is the only piece that you need to replace this is the old mirror. As you can see in the center there was a coating that I cleaned up and could not focus anymore. And this is a cutoff piece that is left from the mirror that I ordered from China and uh, that is here. So the way you do it, you actually take off the lid of the chamber and after that I guess you can see a screw that is holding the clamp that is holding the mirror itself. So after you took the clamp off, you just put off the mirror and insert the new one. There are some moments in this procedure because I guess you'll be able to see the clamp itself it doesn't hold that good. And uh, in order to keep this mirror in the fixed position, you can apply some small dots of nail polish from this side and from the other side uh, of the mirror. Like right there, I guess you can see. I'd like to give you a few advices. So when I've got this mirror piece from China, it was, as I said, three by three centimeters. So I needed to cut it in order to fit in here because the mirror in this model is about 21 by 11 millimeters or something like that. So what I did is I used the old mirror as a reference to cut the piece in the same dimensions. My recommendation is to use glass cutter to cut the mirror, not anything else, because the cut from this will be clean and the edges of the mirror will be clean and you will have no pieces of glass flying around and in general this is the tool to cut the glass. And the last advice is to adjust the light beam from the rangefinder and the mirror so that those two images that help you to focus on the object you want to focus on so that they come in a single spot without moving up or down. So here you can find two screws to adjust this light patch that helps you to focus and to get your object in focus. Here is the first screw. It's pretty tiny, so you will probably need a small bit on your screwdriver. 
And what it does, it adjusts a vertical alignment of the focusing patch. And here is the second screw that adjusts the horizontal alignment of the patch. And basically that's it. After you did that, you can just put everything together. And here you can see where you might need a pair of tweezers. Put the shutter button just like that. So that it is not in the way of the wheel and it allows the lid to actually close. You see the two cutoffs on it. The only thing is left is the winding knob. You put the spacer, the spring, and after that you put the wheel back. In order to tighten this wheel, you just need to hold it from the inside and tighten it. And that's it. That is how you replace a beam splitter in the Mamiya 6 folder. Thank you.